So if you have a vehicle and the battery light is staying on, but you test the alternator and the alternator is charging, I thought I'd go over the causes of this and how you might be able to go about fixing it. And so what are some possible causes? Well, the alternator might be putting out low voltage or it might be an intermittent issue. Could be a bad voltage regulator, could be a bad battery sensor, could be a bad battery, could be bad wiring connections. There might be a high amp load inside the vehicle. There might be a blown fuse and the warning light might be malfunctioning or the wiring going to the light might be having an issue. And it could possibly be a bad onboard computer the PCM ECM. And so the first thing to do is be sure that alternator is outputting the rated voltage because usually if you check the alternator and it's putting out like at least 13 and a half to 14 volts, then usually that indicates that it's good. But the output might be rated for like 14 and a half volts and the onboard computer sees that it's not running at what it's rated for. And so even though everything's working and everything seems fine, it's just not outputting what it's rated for. So be sure to check what the alternator output is rated for and be sure that it's running at that. And when you do this, it would also check to make sure that that voltage regulator is operating properly because that can also cause a problem is that if that voltage regulator is not working correctly then the voltage might be too high it might be running like 16 17 volts or might just be all over the place it might be just sporadically jumping or something like that so be sure that voltage is correct the voltage regulator is usually built into the alternator but sometimes it could be separate sometimes it could be on a firewall or something like that so basically when you check that voltage output when the vehicle's running be sure it's at the rated alternator output and be sure that it's not jumping all over the place and another thing that can happen with these alternators is that there might be an intermittent issue and so it might be working fine and then all of a sudden it just has an issue like it gets too hot or the engine gets too hot and it affects some of the electronics or something like that and so it just fails intermittently and so this light just comes on every now and again and then goes off then be sure to check that voltage when that light is on otherwise you might be getting a good reading and everything seems good but it's really not you can't take that alternator out and have it tested and that can sometimes be an issue because sometimes you'll take it out go down and get it tested and they'll say it's good you put it back in but really there's just some kind of intermittent issue going on with that alternator and it's just failing at certain times like when it gets too hot or something along these lines so that's something to keep in mind is the intermittent issue with that alternator and another thing that can go bad on these is the battery current sensor that's located on some vehicles not all vehicles have these but many newer ones do it really can vary but if your vehicle does have a battery current sensor then be sure to test it or check it out because when it starts to fail it can cause issues and cause problems and so the next thing on the list is check out that battery current sensor if your vehicle has one and another thing that can cause this issue is the battery is starting to fail like the battery might seem like it's working fine but one of the cells is just starting to fail and so it's almost like an intermittent problem that is charging sometimes and then sometimes it'll start trying to pull an extra load on the alternator and that'll cause issues if you take it to an automotive store they usually test it for free but next thing on the list is that that battery is starting to fail and the next thing is be sure to check all those battery connections and this not only includes the battery terminals, but it also includes the wires going back to like the alternator and going down to like the starter or things like this. Be sure it has a good ground and corrosion on these battery terminals is a common problem. So be sure they're not all corroded, that it's making good contact because that definitely will cause issues if they got a bad contact and the wires aren't tight or there's corrosion going on. So be sure to check for that. And another thing that can cause this issue is if there's a high amp load going on inside of the vehicle. And so if you have a lot of electronic devices hooked up to the electronic system, system inside of the vehicle then you might want to check the amp load for all those different devices and be sure you're not overloading the alternator. If the amp load is too high, you might want to get a higher capacity alternator or reduce some of those electronics inside the vehicle. But if you do have a lot of electronics in the vehicle, then be sure to check what the amp load is for each of those devices and that it's not overloading the electrical system. And then the next thing is going to be that something just malfunctioned with this indicator light that's just causing it to come on. And so this could be different things. It might be a circuit board and the instrument cluster back here. It might be a wire going back to the onboard computer or something like that so it is possible that this light or the wires going to the light just has some kind of issue going on and so there's not no problem with the electrical system but that light's just coming on because the light itself is having an issue so that's something to keep in mind and then the last thing on the list is going to be that that onboard computer has just failed and that there's some kind of issue going on with it and this isn't very common this is fairly rare and so i would go back and double check everything else out but if you've gone through everything else and everything else is good it all tests is good you double checked it then you might want to test that onboard computer because some of the electronics inside of it might have failed and it's just turning that light on and so that's basically it I just wanted to give an overview of why the battery light would stay on but you tested the alternator and it's charging if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and I'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day